everyone, this is Megan Donnelly from Able Cine, and today we're going to take a closer look at the LUT functions on the Zacuto Gradical. So there's actually a lot of preset LUTs already available in the Gradical, and also you can make your own, and then you can import them in the Gradical. So we'll show you both of those things today. This is really helpful if you're shooting with a camera where your gamma is set to log, and then on set you want to either view Rec. 709 or you want to view your own custom LUT. Also, some cameras have the ability to send out a Rexo 9 signal, but it gets disabled in things like high-speed mode or other modes. So it can come in really handy when you need to view 709 or your own LUT on set. And today what I have here is the Sony A7S, and I've set that to S-Log2 Gamma, and then I'm sending an HDMI signal to the Zacuto Gradical. So the first thing I want to show you is how to choose one of the many preset LUTs that's already available in the Zacuto Gradical. So if you go into the menu, the second option is LUTs. So if we select that, you can see we have some options for custom LUT. For right now, I just want to show you how to set a preset LUT. So first, I'm going to go to select preset EVF LUT. And right now, I'm shooting with a Sony A7S. So I can, since I'm shooting in log mode, I can choose A7S log 2 to Rec. 709. But you can see what the other options are that are already in the Gradical. So we've got C300, A7S, FS7, F5, and even more are coming. So let's choose for this setup, I'm gonna do A7S log two to 709. And you can see immediately the LUT is applied. What's also really nice is it tells you at the bottom of the menu that the LUT is applied. So you see LUT A7S log two to Rec. 709. The next thing I'm gonna do is send it to my external monitor. So I'm gonna go back to select preset SDI out LUT. And for this setup, I'm gonna choose the same thing because I want the clients to see the same thing that I'm seeing as an operator. The next thing I'm gonna do is change a function button so that I can toggle between log and this look. So you do have to select it again. I'm gonna go F1, you have to say preset EVF LUT, and then you have to choose that same LUT, S log two to Rec. 709 for A7S. And now if I get out of that menu, if I push F1, I can toggle between log so I can see what I'm really capturing in case 709 is clipping, I can see that I'm not clipping in log, or I can view the LUT if I'm more comfortable exposing to Rec. 709. So now let's take a look at how to make our own LUT and import it into the Gradical. So that's one of the things I really like about the Gradical because if you don't want to just use the preset Rec. 709 and you need more of a creative LUT for your project, you can create a LUT file and then place it into the Gradical and also send that out to the client or to your directors, let's say. So one thing you should know is it does need to be a 1D LUT file, and also it has to be saved as a .cube. So I'm going to show you one of the many softwares out there that can be used to do this. So the first thing I need to do is I'll take a USB stick and I need to format it to FAT32. Once I've done that, I can place it into my computer, and then I'll open the software to show you. So the software I'm going to show you is called LUT Calc. So let's open that up. And the first thing you want to do is you want to switch it to 1D LUT, because as a Kudo Gradical, it has to be a 1D LUT. Then on the left, it'll ask you which camera you're using. So we're using the Sony A7S today. And then you have to make sure your record gamma is set to how your camera is set. So I shot everything at S-Log2. And then what I want to do is convert it to Rec. 709. And then here on the right, it asks you which type of LUT do you want to export, and there's a grading LUT and then a camera M LUT. So we want the monitor LUT. And then the drop down, I can actually choose the Kudo Gradical 1D M LUT. And this is going to be the .cube file that the Gradical needs. And now I can say generate LUT and save it to my USB stick. And I'm going to call it just something that I'll remember. And then the next thing I can do is have a little more fun for a creative LUT. So instead of Rec. 709, I'm going to do low contrast. So I'll choose low contrast 709. And then you can choose ASC CDL and maybe change some colors. So actually, I want to switch the blue channel. And let's make it a little bit bluer. And then on the right, actually, if you choose preview, you can see a look at what it's going to look like. So we'll just make it a little bit blue. Again, we're selected at 1D and Zacuto Gradical is our export file, and I'll generate that LUT. And again, I'll call it something that will make sense later on on set. So I'll say LC709 and blue. And then we can go ahead and just eject our USB stick. And we'll go ahead and bring that right into the Gradical. So on the back of the Gradical, there's a USB port. 
and then we'll go into the menu and we'll pull up that LUT and save it to the graticle. So now that I've created those 1D.cube LUTs and saved them onto my USB stick, I've inserted my USB stick into the Zacuto graticle and I'm going to import them. So if you go into menu, the second option is LUTs. And the first one you see here is import custom LUT. So this is the one I've created. And you have multiple different positions so you can save multiple different custom LUTs. I'm gonna go ahead and import the first one that I made, which was the log to 709 with a blue tint. I'll go ahead and import another one. Let's do the one that I chose with low contrast. And now what you have to do is you have to select those. So the first thing we did is just imported them. Now we have to say, yes, we wanna view them. So select custom EVF LUT. Let's go ahead and take a look at our blue tinted one. And again, if you have an SDI out monitor and you want your clients to see the same thing that you're seeing and you want that LUT applied, we would again go to select custom SDI out LUT and choose the same one. Then we can go back to our function menu and set F1 to toggle those so we can see log and then we can also see what our LUT is. So instead of preset this time, we're gonna choose custom EVF LUT. You have to choose which one you want again. And now if I go out of this menu, we're viewing the LUT right now. You can see below the frame, it tells us. And if I turn LUT off by pushing F1, we can toggle and see what we're really capturing with log. The next thing you can do with the Zucuto Radical for LUTs is create your own. So if we go back to LUT and we do create custom LUT, we have quite a few options to adjust the image here. So I can do brightness, contrast, saturation, some color changes, and even the gamma. And then I can save that LUT and export it to a USB stick. Now it does save it as a Zacuto LUT file. So for now, you can only view it in other graticals or the same gradical, but it does allow you to save them and make adjustments. So for now, let's just do a few quick adjustments. I can bring my brightness down. You can see my waveform changing. Let's increase that contrast. Let's say I want to make it a little warmer. We'll increase some blue. And then I can go ahead and save it. So let's do save custom LUT. I can save it in multiple different positions. I'm going to save it in LUT number three because I already have a few other ones. And now if you like that one better than the presets, you can choose select custom EVF LUT and choose the one that I just made. So now that we've imported those LUTs into the graticle, I can actually go ahead and remove the USB stick because once you import them, they're saved into the viewfinder, which is really helpful because then you don't need this on set. And that's all there is to it. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.